Okay, so we're going to try the blue carpet idea first. And again, I don't know if this is going to work. It's just we're just playing around with different ideas here. Okay, so we want to spin this this way here. Let's go into first person so we can line up really straight or as straight as possible. And then, um, so it starts to clip right about there. Let's just back straight up. Okay, now let's just kind of stand back and see what we think about that. It's not bad, actually. It's not perfectly straight. I'm going to have to redo it, but yeah, it starts to kind of go off that way a little bit. Um, It's not bad, though, actually. The only thing I don't like about it is, you know, that the, the rugs look a little ruffled or rink, um, you know, they're not smooth. But I could I could dig that. I, I think the colors work pretty well with the Aqualonian, you know, marble and stuff. Hmm. Okay, well let's let's just leave that the way it is for now. And let's go up here into the bedroom. And I think, let's see, where do we want to put the bed? Probably up against here, I'm thinking. Um yeah, so let's put the bed down first. No 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 cut it out. Don't be punching the air. We're not going to be able to remove that pillar because that pillar is supporting what's up above. So we want to straighten this up a bit. Make sure it's pretty close to even. And then we're going to have to pull it back until the headboard unclips from the glass walls. Maybe we'll line it up right with the light blue square. There we go. Okay, I think that works. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the big carpet, which is not an ideal color, but it should work. And we should be able to slide this almost entirely under the bed. Yeah, I see that pillar is going to really be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Okay, here, let's go to first person. Um, yeah, see, the problem here is that we're our own bodies in the way. That's where we want it, right? As soon as it touches the ground. But I can't, um, can't do it because my feet are in the way. Okay, what if we go back? Oh, son of a bitch. I'll, oh, you know what? I'll bet you this pillar, this pillar should support everything. Um, well, we're going to find out. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to rebuild some stuff. <laughs> Shit, I hope this this is okay. I, I put this second, here we go. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I put this second pillar here just because, you know, because I can't get this one in the center. I thought it looked weird being offset. So we'll probably add this back, but I need to get it out of the way for the moment so I can set the carpet in correctly. Okay. Now we should be able to set the carpet the way we need to. So um, we can't butt it all the way up against the wall because then it starts to raise up like that, but we can get it mostly there. And then we just need to make sure that it's centered on the bed right about there. And then I'd say right about here looks good. And the carpet itself is not square. It's a little skewed looking. That's just the way it is. So, you know, we have to, in a way, that's not bad, though, because it just makes it look, you know, like a real carpet in real life. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then, you know, there's like little nightstands and other kinds of things we can we can make to set up around the bed just to make it look, you know, cool. And then why don't we put these braziers uh, maybe underneath the stairs in the corner because the light's going to bleed through no matter what. Here, 
let me get into first person so I can line this up properly. We want it right in the white square. Okay, there isn't really a good place to put the braziers here. But this not might not be a bad spot for us to make some more of those, you know, hanging. Oh, I guess we have one here. Um yeah, the king's the king's bedroom is just going to be bright as hell. That's all there is to it. <laughs> uh all right, here. Let's get our let's get our pillars back in place. And again, I'm doing this more just so we have symmetry here than out of necessity but it just i i just don't like this pillar here you know being offset so we just add the second one in and i you know i think that that's what we need to do okay so um how about now if we're gonna well let's actually see how much light there is in here now at nighttime so let's go back into here and we're going to go here, and we're going to set the time of day to, let's set it to 1800 this time. Uh, that didn't make it nighttime. Did that just put us in the late afternoon? Let's go outside and take a quick look. All right, here. I must maybe I didn't put that in correctly. Let's look. Let's do it again. Cheap panel set time of day to eighteen hundred. Oh, I forgot to click apply. That's what I did. Okay. Yeah, that gets it. Uh, puts us at dusk for sure. Um. Okay. Let's go nineteen hundred again, like we did before. Wow, it's bright. Okay. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't do anything about this. Whoa, he can't even... What the hell, man? Yeah, I was going to say, he usually can get through there. Uh, it, is, it is a little dark on this side. Um, What if we put this right up above the bed, though? Hmm. That looks dangerous. <laughs> Having that flame there by all the, the silk curtains of the bed. Yeah, I don't think that's such a great idea. And it's still just a bit dark in the corners, too. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do, let's grab this back down. And I think we'll put them on these walls, and we'll put them just right up above the line there. We'll make another one for this corner, and then I, th I think the lighting will be good here uh, in the in the royal bedroom. We might put like a... A table or a desk or something up against the window here there's lots of things we can do you know lots of things we can do okay so uh, we need to make another one of those actually I want to make a couple more of these because I have something else I want to do too what happens if we put one of these right in the center between the pillars does that look weird you know what would be cool is if we could put one of the fireplaces up here. We'd have to devise like a little chimney kind of idea. That puts a lot of light in here. I'll bet you it looks cool from the outside too. We should go look. I didn't get that perfectly lined up either. Okay, so we want this to be more... Kind of hard to tell from this angle. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's just go see what this looks like um, from from outside, from a distance. I'll bet it's, it looks pretty cool, you know, being all lit up and everything. Yeah, man, look at that. Palace of Light. That's the Palace of Light, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, well, um, I'm not 100% convinced I want that brazier in, the, in between the two pillars, though. But 
Um, let's definitely make another one of these. Uh, we need more iron. I actually want to make a couple more of those because I want to use it, try it out on a couple other things too. Let's just put like 200 iron in here. Oh my god, we've already been running 52 minutes. I can't believe we've spent that much time already. I hope you guys are, are enjoying this episode because, again, it's a little bit different than what we normally do, but um, that's not a bad thing, you know, because it kind of breaks breaks up the, the routine a bit. Um, and I'm not planning on editing any of this either. We're just I'm just going to throw it out there as is, and hopefully everyone's cool with that. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's do this, and we're going to make we can make nine more. Uh, yeah, let's actually make nine more because what I have... Well, no, 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 no. Don't make nine more. Only make a couple more because I'm not sure this is going to actually work for what I have in mind. Um, okay, so while we're here too, uh, I'm going to try and not go too much longer though. Uh, but there's some other things we, we want. So let's make this Divian. Uh, this is like a vanity table. We can make that for the royal bedroom. Um, let's just kind of scroll through here and pick and choose some cool stuff that we can do. This is a thrall dressing room, but we, we could also use it kind of like, um, you know, for the, for the royal, uh, the royal dressing. <laughs> um, we already made one of these folding screens, so we'll put that to use up there. Now, do we have any kind of a desk type of thing? I thought there was something along those lines. You know, I never did get the. I oh, we could do a chess uh, a chess table. What do we need? Insulated wood for that. Uh, I never did get the, a Grossian stuff. Holy shit! Am I like? Oh no, I got insulated wood in my own inventory. Okay, I was gonna say, should have a whole bunch of insulated wood. Let's put two hundred of those in there. Um, the yeah, the Grossian uh, DLC. That's a bench maybe we could use something with that what was the thing we were looking at that's a plain wood bench we got that in the tavern though that's not very royalish looking there is this stone fireplace we could okay here's a table yeah let's make that table uh, maybe we can put that up against the window as if it was like a desk you know um, this Terranian stool is kind of royalish looking. I don't think we want to put a Terranian cup. What's this? A water trough? No, that's not going to work. A wooden chair, a, a writing desk. Okay, I thought we had a desk of some sort. So let's grab that. We already uh, made the royal chair. Um, so I'm thinking maybe what we do is... We got a, a round stool. Oh, this is what we were going to make. Yeah, the king's board. Okay, so let's make that. And Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Well, there, wait that's, I think that one sits on a table. This one actually is its own table, so that's the one we want to actually make. We could make a harp. Sure, why not? The king's got the, you know, has the musician come up and, you know, sing him to sleep. And I want to make some more banners and stuff, too. Okay, so let's think about the fireplace thing for a second. What's this? A decorative planter. Eh, that might look cool up in a king's thing, but we need more plant fiber. I got to go get some plant fiber, man. Um, okay, we got the bench there. So we have the, you know, the, the vanilla fireplace, which looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like a fireplace. Or we've got this... Dude's delightful fireplace, which is kind of more of a grayish stone look. Uh, what's that require? Steel and some more stone. Let's um, let's just no, not that steel. This steel. Let's just look at that for a second. You know what though? I might actually already have made that. Let's see what's in here. Improved alchemist bench. No, I guess I didn't make that. I thought maybe I had. Let's grab these benches, too. We might need those. Okay, so um, I think it said we needed more stone. 
Let me just go grab some stone really quick. And while I'm out here, I might as well grab some plant fiber too. Okay, we don't need a, a ton, but we'll just get a nice little quantity. And then let's grab some plant fibers. Wow, I can't believe how much time has gone by already. <laughs> uh, we won't, I won't keep you too much longer. Just a little bit longer. There's, there's one real specific thing I want to do before I let you, before I leave you guys. Um, but let's get the a couple more of these other things done in the royal bedroom first. Okay, so uh, let's see. We'll put the plant fiber in here and the stone. And I want to... Uh, I think we needed some steel too, right? So I don't know. Did I put steel in there already? It's No, it's still in my inventory. Okay, put that in there. Uh, now, let's go ahead and uh, do the fireplace. So we're going to make this one. And then... Um, I'm thinking I might want to make a couple more rugs, too. So here, let's do this. Carpet. Um, let's make a couple blue, maybe a couple green, maybe a couple red, and a couple of orange. I'm not so sure how well red's going to blend uh, and I don't think green's going to blend very well either, but let's just make a couple of each set, and then we can just mess with them. Okay, so uh, we got the Divian, the vanity table, the rugs, the harp, the king's board, and you can actually make little pieces for that too. I'm not going to do that right now, but I might do it later if we decide to to stick with it. Okay, let's go. There it goes. <laughs> it doesn't start uh, moving until I get close to it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put, whoops, we're going to put this up here. Okay, so we got lights on both sides there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab, um, so we, we've got a table and we have the writing desk. I want to look at both of those and just see... And uh, we got this Divian too. Okay, so let's go to first person. If we do the writing desk, oh, that looks nice. It's kind of, kind of got like the little gilded decoration. The table I think is going to be more basic. Yeah, see that that doesn't really look like the kind of table you'd have in a king's bedroom. It's more like what you'd have in a, a tavern. Okay, so we're going to go with this for sure. And then uh, let's butt it right up against the glass wall. And make sure it's right in the center of the tile there. That's pretty good. Okay. And then we made that uh, other chair earlier. Uh, this one. So this will probably look good right here. Maybe we'll even kind of put it at an angle. Like so. And then, you know, there's other little knicks and knick-knack uh, knick -knack, knick thingamadoodles. Uh, like the, there's the oil lamp, you know, the terrain oil lamp and some other things we can put on here, but I'll, 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 I'll probably just do those really little touch-ups later. Okay. Now we have the Divian. So let's, let's see what this looks like. That's kind of neat. Um, so where would we put this? I guess we could put it over here by the window, unless we did we. Oh, yeah, you know what we could do? Oop. Let's go out here. We could put this out here. So if the king wants to co come outside and lay in the sun, get its suntan, that sort of thing. If we're going to do that, maybe we should angle it this way? Eh, I don't know. Nah, no, no, let's not do that. Let's just put it in here. And maybe what we could do is put it up against this pillar here. Now I'm thinking uh, up against the wall, up against the window. I don't. I'm like totally indecisive and scatterbrained, but it's okay. We're having fun. There. We'll just put it there. Can you actually sit on this? Oh, you can. Look at that. 
Nice. Okay, cool. Um, can I sit on this? <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, see, we, we've got we've got candles and all kinds of just little odds and ends that we've you know we've looted over the course of this playthrough, and we can put some of that stuff on the table. That'll look really nice. Um, okay, so what else did we want to do in here before we do the last thing of the day? Oh yeah, we got the vanity table thing. Let's grab that. And what else did I put in here? We got the folding screen and the Aqualonian nightstand thingamadoodle. The Terranian stool and the fireplace. Okay, so. Uh, oh, and the harp. Yeah, let's put the harp here. I think that's all of the other stuff that we made besides the rugs. Okay, so let's see. For the harp, where would... Uh, well, okay, hold on a sec. I'm thinking what we should do is this should probably go... Maybe here, just so the king has a little privacy kind of thing. And then maybe what we do with this. Oh. I thought that had like a little curtain thing, thing behind it. I guess it doesn't. Hmm. Okay. Where would we put this? I guess over here. So the king can uh, perform his abulations in the morning and the evening and whatever, right? Um, okay, so we're going to do that. Maybe we put that there. And what if we slide this behind it then? Because it kind of looks like that's what it's supposed to be in the icon. Oh, that doesn't want to fit down in there, does it? Okay, here, let's pick this back up for a second. We'll put this down first. Make sure we're in first person so it's lined up nicely. This will help uh, keep the king private from any peeping toms looking through the window. And then we can put this right here. There we go. That'll work. Excellent. Okay, that's cool. Now, uh, let's put this nightstand down here. And we'll pull it out from the wall just a little bit. And then this uh, stool, this looks really nice. This little Terranian stool. Put that there. And then why don't we take the bench? These benches aren't super fancy schmancy looking, but, you know, just a place for the king to sit at the end of the, end of the bed and take his, his shoes off, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, let's get into first person here so we can line it up. Hold that out just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Still haven't decided for sure about this. Uh, I'm going to leave it there for now, though. Um, and, you know, like I said, we can bring up some little knickknacks and stuff, put them on the nightstands and on the on the writing uh, desk. But, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm a bit of a minimalist, so we don't need a whole bunch of shit in here. We really don't. But... You know, we want to put enough stuff in here so it actually feels like a king's bedroom, you know? Um, now, we do have those rugs. Oh, fireplace. What the hell were we going to do with a fireplace? Where would we even put a fireplace in a place like this? Um, hmm. I mean, I could put it up against this wall, but the chimney's the thing about that. What if we... Could we make this a double fireplace? That looks nice. Okay, here. Let's, um... Actually, maybe the easiest way to do this is to start from the back side. Go this way, and then... Bring it right into the center of the pillars, like so. We need to move that way a bit. Eh, I don't know. I The idea was I would make another one, put it on this side so it's like a double, and then we could just do like a fake chimney going up, but... 
You'd think the king would want to see the fireplace from his bed, you know? Um... What we might be able to do is actually build like a wall type of thing around this and, you know, and go up to the ceiling and replace the pillars with it and then make it look like a central fireplace. Um... That could work. That could work. It's just going to make things... I don't know. I, I, I think the room has a real spacious feel to it, as it is right now. And if we do that, it's going to... Might get a little crowded. You'd think, though, the, you know, the king would want a fire in his room. Of course, we do live in a hot environment, so maybe not, actually. The, the braziers put off some heat. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that. We don't have to do a fireplace in here. If we were in a cold environment, like if we were building up north in the highlands... That would be a whole different story, but we're not. We're in a hot environment, so it almost doesn't make sense to have a fireplace in here. Okay, let's get this back in the center. Come on, keyboard. You're so damn sensitive. Okay, that's pretty close. All right, guys. Um, last thing I want to do before I let you go is actually something we're going to do on the outside of the, of the structure. And uh, so here, let me climb up and around here. It's a little bit weird getting over there. Okay, so, um, here, let's go down here. What I wanted to do is hang lights off of the balcony, because I think it would look really cool at nighttime. So, if we... See, the thing is, though, is I don't know if we can do that with these lamps that are really huh? bright that I like. Oh, shit. Okay, get up. Eh, he doesn't want to stay up there. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I have to be... I, I can't be... Yeah, he keeps, like, bouncing back. Here, let's do this. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go back this way. He keeps, like, bouncing back off of it is the thing. Um, If we go... Let's go up through here to get like all the way to the edge here and then crouch to get through. I was able to get through here earlier. I don't know why it's not letting me do it now. There it goes. Okay. Weird. Okay, let's go over this way. Uh, all right. What I want to try and do is get on top of here like that. Okay. Now, um, let's grab the... <sighs> Shit. Oh, I was going to say, didn't I have more of these? Okay. So, yeah, see, we can't put those on the bottom. What if... Ooh, we could hang them off of here, though. Yeah, that might, that might look cool. Actually, that'd probably look really cool. Okay, um... Let me get into first person. Even if we held them up a little bit higher, too, because I could possibly climb up on the fence up there and set them. Okay, so let's see. If we're going to do this, um, I would want one, two, three, four, five. No, no. Okay, hold on. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish for just this side. Okay, let's make ten more of those. Whoops. 
All right, so what do I need? Uh, just iron. Okay, so we, we're going to need 220 iron if we're going to make 10 more. That's not a problem. we got lots of iron. Let's grab 220, even though I know I have some in there already. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's make the, let's make ten of those. Fortunately, they craft quickly. Oh, we didn't put the harp down. <laughs> we gotta put the harp down. Uh, and we didn't put any carpets down either. Too many things to remember. Here, let's put these carpets on our toolbar here. We'll grab our tin razors. We're gonna put the fireplace on hold for now. Okay, now let's go back up here and see if we can do all of this from up above and then once we get everything in place we'll we'll make it nighttime again and take a look at it and see how awesome it looks all right so um see i was originally going to hang them down uh, underneath but i'm kind of liking this idea instead so let's get up here carefully. And can I... Hmm, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, okay. You, we're going to have to make a temporary platform. It's just f something for me to stand on, except for... Eh, it's not going to want to do that, is it? Okay, let's get over here. It's wanting to attach to something down there. Oh, right, because that's at a... Okay, let's uh, carefully... Yeah, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, well, we're, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, here, let's go back up. That's why I, I kind of got a little further over to the center, because I figured if I fall, at least we can land in the water, you know? That is a long ways up. Crazy long ways up. I wonder if I can add one more to the end of that just so I have a little more area to stand on. Um, unless, okay, either that or can I get back up on the walls and just do everything from down below? I don't know if I'm going to be able to walk across the front, though. Uh, here, let's climb up here. The question here is now, oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to reach it from there anyway because it hangs out too far. Okay. All right. Let's go back up here then. Now, can I add another piece onto that? Nah, see, we're at the limit of the SI is the problem. Well, let me put another piece on that. Oh! Super careful, OG. Super careful. Just there we go. Okay, good. Now, um, can we get out just a smidge further? Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, now, can I? This is going to be hard to do and get these lined up evenly, though, you know? Uh, I might have to build a temporary, like, tower kind of thing. Um, to, you know, like a scaffolding, basically, to make the, to do this right. Because I mean, I can I can hit it here, but I can't really tell if it's if it's centered, and it's not going to look good if it's not centered. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, um, I think that's what I need to do. I think that's what I'm going to need to do. Um, because again, I can't I can't build out any further uh, than what I've got here. Uh, storm glass ceiling. Yeah, that's, I want to make sure I was picking up the right thing there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's put that back in place. Um, okay. I guess the other thing I could do is just... I could go into admin mode and fly, but I 
I mean, I wouldn't. It, that's a little cheaty. I, I built this whole thing in survival mode, not in admin fly mode. So I, I think I'm going to stay true to that. Um, I, and you guys are thinking, well, you've been changing the time of day, and that's cheaty. And I agree with you, it is. But um, I, you know, I wanted to show you guys what this place looks like it, in the dark, and I also needed it to be dark so I could tell how well the lighting was. So, you know. That's uh, how I justify that, and if you don't like it, uh, it's all right. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, <laughs> truth be told, right? Uh, okay, so um, let's uh, let's go back this way. You know hmm, you know what we could maybe do is temporarily put an elevator down. Uh, ooh, actually, that idea has merit. Let's... Do I have another elevator? Uh, yeah, no, that's a horizontal. Ooh, well, actually, that could work, too. That might even be better. Um, how would we do that, though? <laughs> that might be a little weird. Okay, no, I think a vertical elevator might do the trick. So let's go over here. What do we need for one of those? Vertical elevator. We need... Some steel, 30 steel bar. Okay. This might be better than having to build a ginormous scaffold and have to tear it down, move it, build it back up, tear it down, move it. Because um, moving an elevator is super easy. So, okay, let's do a vertical elevator. We'll make that. But as long as this episode's becoming in the fact that I'm not going to edit it, because there isn't really a whole lot to edit. I mean, I've been engaged the whole time. Uh, I might make this a two-parter. I think we're going to have to, because otherwise it's just going to be super, super long. Uh, okay, let's go back up to the top here. And uh, hopefully this will work the way that I think it'll probably work. All right, so what we want to do is let's take the elevator and uh, I guess we'll just stick it there. All right, now, see, I can get out a little ways here and then it's still going to be really hard to make this perfectly. Well, okay, maybe what we do is we do it this way. Yeah, we do it this way. There we go. Okay. And then we just keep sliding the elevator over. Uh-huh. We figured it out, man. We figured it out. This is the way to do it. Hot damn. Ouch. Those fences hurt. There we go. Okay. Let me uh, let me get this done. Uh, I said I'm not going to edit anything, but I... Uh, I'll just do this real quick off camera because you see what I'm going to do. And then we'll turn it nighttime. We'll take a look and see what everything looks like. And then we'll probably wrap up this episode. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's see what this looks like. Um, if I like it, I might actually <coughs> excuse me, put these all the way around the whole circumference of the palace, even on that side. But for now, I just got it on this side. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, let's actually make it night first. So we're going to go here to cheat panel, and let's make it um, uh, 2,000. So this is what it looks like. Man, that sky seems so bright. Goodness. This is what it looks like up here. Uh, super bright. And then if we jump down into here where it's, like, super dark, and then let's go into first person and look up. Look at that. Palace of Light, man. It's beautiful. The Palace of Light, that's what it is. I like it. Um, I'll probably put some lighting all, all along the walkway, too. Maybe some standing torches, um, you know, at some point, too. But, uh, yeah. I think that looks pretty cool. Um... Okay, so here let's uh, let's put this on so I can see what the hell's going on. It's super dark down here. 
Okay. Whoa. <laughs> uh, let's head on back up. And I just want to take one last look at the front of the palace. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to put those lights on the front of the palace because I don't want to overdo it either. I mean, that's that's pretty bright as it is, but I don't think it's I don't think it's too bright. It's just uh, where's where's my thing at? Here we go. Okay, I don't want to see what the hell's going on here. Okay, let's put this back down so it's ready for us next time we jump off there. All right, let's look at this again from outside of here. And we'll put the... So... I mean, we could put those along on this side too, I guess. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it and then look at it and see if if I if I think it's too much. I don't think it'll be too much light. That looks really nice actually. Those torches all all along there. I think I think it'll be okay. Um yeah. I think it'll be okay. All right. Well, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And uh, we will uh We'll get back to some action in the next episode. Uh, probably maybe even do the next, uh, uh, you know, pull the staff out and do the next artifact that we need to do. And then um, I'm going to, you know, keep working on the building. we got to get started on the the Colosseum and the, the tower that we're going to make for the soldiers and the training grounds, which is going to happen over on that a piece of land and over on that piece of land. And then just go from there. So, yep, that's it, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.